Cheers, everybody. Welcome to Table Titans, episode three. Tonight, we have two special guests. We've got MMA New England media specialist, Sean Gildaro, I mean, Gilday. Um, <laughs> you always pronounce it everybody's name, Sean. And then Slippery Pete Barrett, one of the top pound-for-pound -pound prospects that New England has to offer. Undefeated, very much arguably the next in line to get to the big show in the UFC. Pleasure to have you gentlemen on the show. Right on, thank you, Gildaro. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Nice oh, to have sure. you guys I gotta shake everybody's hand. Oh, That's right. right. Yeah. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. Absolutely. So we got a couple fight announcements, a couple of talking points we're going to bring up. But first, I just realized today for the first time that uh, Mr. Barrett here has a fake tooth. Yep. I got to hear the story about that. So um, <laughs> it comes in a tray. <laughs> it wasn't covered by insurance. Oh, uh, this the story behind this was I was in I was in Dublin. Uh, I was studying abroad when I was in school, so I think it was like 2007 or 2008. And my buddies were also studying abroad in London, so they came up for St. Patty's Day. And we all went out and got drunk in a club and got into a huge brawl. Uh, I knocked this kid out cold, and when I was talking to the bouncer, this kid came up from his group and fucking cold clocked me. Sitting here talking to the bouncer yeah. like this, I get clocked. And I realized that my tooth had just broken in half. <laughs> so I was in Dublin, like no insurance, alone, you know what I mean? So I'm like, mom, dad, hey, I need to go to the dentist. <laughs> what the fuck do I do? I have, I have a broken tooth, it's an exposed nerve, I've got a ton of pain. So I went to a dental university. Did you? <laughs> yeah, they're going to intern help you. No, like a student did all yeah, the work. <laughs> Yeah, they're not even an intern at, uh, at a dentist, oh, obviously. Yeah. The they're so <laughs> or maybe the doctor did it. They just bought the textbook. The student. <laughs> I don't know. I just I needed free dental work, so I went to the to, to the university. Now, is that what they what they pretty much did was they took like like a filler and just like layered it back and forth, like. Imagine three um, D printing. No, like yeah, or like toothpaste. <laughs> oh, oh, so is, is that the same tooth that you've had since two thousand seven? No. Or the, okay, so or the, that, that was not that, tooth. That was that was that was a temporary fix for, for while I was in Dublin. Gotcha. And that happened in March, and I was there until May. Yeah. You know. And <laughs> I got these. These two are fake. And then really? when I was there. And we were we were on like a field trip with the with the exchange program, and they were like horrified by me to begin with because <laughs> this had happened. And I like I bit into something soft, and the tooth chipped. Like <laughs> the, the the fake stuff broke off, and uh, it was just like a hilarious. You mess. must have been that's how they not so chicks you, then. Did you have the ears back then? Uh, the tooth yeah, you had the yeah, cauliflower. Yeah, but, but I, I had like half inch gauges at the time. Oh, all right. I was gonna say that's how savage the people in Dublin must be. It's like they see ears like that and they still want to pick up yeah, right it's it's like, Well, it was like it was a terrible combination of me and my buddies from college. Like we just happened to be trading war stories, and then we started dancing with these girls, and these kids came over. Like they were like, stop dancing with our girlfriends, and it was just like, fuck you. <laughs> and it was on from there. <laughs> and uh, it was like I said, it was just like a, a bottle house. You should, you should see Pete on the dance floor. I had the uh, privilege of, we were in Vegas at the same time last year. Oh, yeah. And he, yeah, he, he, happened, he happens to be out there, and you should see this kid on the dance floor. This guy is. Oh, well, I'll, I'll leave it at that. Good. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, but Vegas. He, yeah, he's a man. sight to be seen I'm, on the I'm dance afraid floor. to go to Vegas. I can't go to Vegas. I'd never come back. I would never come back. I would just get off the plane being kid in a candy store. No, <laughs> you're in Vegas. No one would yeah, ever find yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. It's a crazy no experience. They, they, they give out like 700 license a day, marriage license. Where'd you get married? At the Little Chapel? Yeah, just at the Little Chapel. So, to have uh, Elvis Presley was like three grand. Just like a mediocre um, uh, imitation Elvis Presley. So you three grand. No, we didn't. But I thought it would have been awesome. But no. Not for three grand. No. Not for three grand. Thank you for a cheap wedding. I got these, these two teeth. Fake. And then Can I take them out? And no. I, no. You I, paid, I paid for the good work. Oh, so all right. Right. so yeah. back yeah. to the original yeah. story, uh, <laughs> the tooth. How it, so I, I got home, and of course, dental insurance doesn't cover cosmetic mm. procedures. The crown's a, cos, a cosmetic Five grand a piece procedure. So I had to have a root canal, which the, the insurance paid for. But then I got a porcelain crown that my mom paid for. It was like three or four grand. Yeah. She, she wasn't happy about it because I was a pro-ass college student who just came back from Europe. 
And this was that she already probably paid. Yeah, for. and this was. Yeah, the, the <laughs> she wanted a pretty looking sunset. 2007, too. 2008, the economy just collapsed. Like the exchange was terrible. Like I saved some money, and then when I got there, it was like cut. It was like more than cut in half. Yeah. As soon as I got there, like that. So, so didn't you get knocked out in training a couple weeks ago? Yeah. So I got let's to fast the, forward. To fast that. forward, porcelain crown, 2007, 2008, up until 2015. So I got a pretty good run out of it. Yeah. Like I got my money's worth. Yeah. But we were sparring. I was sparring with Rob. Yeah, my mom. Got <laughs> out. That was why I was so like nervous to tell her. But um, so, Rob needed me in the mouth. Rob Font. Oh, we were going. Oh, it was Saturday. Good. Little gloves, technical sparring, and he fucking needed me in the mouth. And as soon as it landed, I, I felt like. And I was like, who the hell throws knees and stars? Like, like, well, yeah. well, it well, wasn't, it, 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 he, pulled, he pulled the knee, but it wasn't, it, was, it wasn't a hard knee. It was just like right on that tooth. And I was like, flashback to Ireland. Fuck, dude. And I started swearing, cussing. I was bullshit. He was like, what happened? What happened? What happened? And I'm like, I take my mouth guard out and my tooth was still in my mouth guard. And I was like, I knew it, dude. I felt it explode. <laughs> so I rinsed my mouth out, ran outside. Swore a, a bunch more and then went back in, rinsed my mouth guard out, and went back to training. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, there's nothing else I can do. Yeah, you know, exactly. it looks the same as it does now. It, it's like the tooth was gone. <laughs> you know, you're gonna wait to get it fixed again. Yeah. So I have this tray, which is gonna, I'm gonna have until I'm done fighting. Until I, the doctor was like, all right, let's get you lined up and have another tooth put in. And I was like, what, are you fucking retarded? And I was like, you can't put a tooth in there. I'm gonna get punched in the mouth for like another five or six years. Yeah. Um, I was like, can you just chip this thing out and give me like a flipper? Yeah. They're like, no, that's like a really valuable piece of your tooth right there. We want to save that. And so yeah, I ended up with a, an Invisalign tray with a tooth glued to it. And you didn't get the insurance. The mouthpiece didn't pay for it, right? No. So I, I called the company and they're like, yeah, um, even if you were wearing like one of those medically dental guaranteed shop doctors, I've looked into their policies and they don't cover anything. It's really just marketing. He's like, so I don't. I don't insure my stuff like that. We insure it's gonna fit when you receive it, but we can't insure, you know, dental. Mm -hmm. Like that's that you don't know, what kind of policy I would need for that. That's just yeah. ridiculous. Nice. I think he his quote was, God would need to see it happen for one of those insurance Beautiful. policies <laughs> to pay out for a dental like damage to dental work. Wow. So he did offer to he did offer to replace oh, the mouth he said, once you get everything figured out with your teeth. I'll send you a new mold and I'll make you a new mouth guard for free. So that's Brit mouth guards. I plug that. I plug <laughs> All right. So he said, you know, I'll send you a new mold. I'll, I'll make you a free mouth guard. And they do the printed custom ones. So that was pretty cool. So we got some fake teeth here. We got some fake teeth there. Mine is hot. Some fake teeth there. Take I don't have fake. I took a hockey puck. Uh, these these two, four teeth in one shot. Oh my God. I top two. Oh my bottom two, I. Still haven't got fixed. Wow. Can't even see that. Can't no one see sees it. it well, we, they, they want to see it. Now they see it. <laughs> I wouldn't get those fixed either. No, no one sees that. No, no one sees no. it. And then my lip was busted like this. Um, like a beef sandwich? Yeah. I got 11 <laughs> stitches on the outside, like eight <laughs> on the inside. You're disgusting. <laughs> uh, but um, oh, God. a similar story to him. I picked my teeth up. I put them in my glove, and I kept playing hockey. Oh. And then finally, they're like, your, your, your face is not, hasn't stopped bleeding. Like It's been 10 minutes. you got to get off the ice. Oh. And they made me get off the ice, and sure enough. Yeah. That, that was my point to get back into the club to go beat those kids up after my tooth got knocked out. I was like, no, i got to go back in there and buy my tooth. And they're like, get the fuck out of here. Go get in the cab. Go home. Oh, but the kid that I hit, he left in an ambulance. Of course, he's got to throw that story. Yeah, I got to finish that. Well, you said you picked up your teeth, and I was like, oh, that's right. I tried to go back into the club to get my teeth, and they wouldn't let me back in. Some guy, you're gonna, you're gonna get a, you don't have to prove anything at this table. No, <laughs> you the, play, the, the, some guy's sad. over in Europe right now and be like, yeah, this yeah, guy's a liar. I kicked his ass. Quincy, <laughs> Massachusetts. Yeah. <laughs> so how do you lose your tooth? Baseball. So I played my... I played four years of high school football, and I, my freshman year I went out for wrestling, and then I was like, oh, I'm going to do three sports. No. I went out for baseball. I never played baseball before, and I was out outfield, and the coach was standing on second base just hitting balls, and I caught the sun, and I jumped up at the wrong time, and smashed. So the tooth didn't come out, uh, but... It was dead. It, it didn't. So they, it wouldn't have survived. So they had to shave this one, shave that one, put a cap over it. So. Are you getting blown up on the phone? 
for it, Mr. Host. I'm not talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know who I'm not talking about? You watching? No, I'm calling you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't even. Uh, don't. We have business here. It's not even that, like this. It's, he just knows what time it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Maybe we can talk about that later. It's two stories all right. You don't got a yeah, two-story. Like, no, I, I have nothing. I have no... Look yeah, at, I, I've go been, on. So I have nothing. Next. You've got ears that you can talk about. My go ears on. are pretty. I've got You're ugly teeth. enough. Well, yeah, I'm not, I was born ugly enough. I didn't need anything. You pretty bastards all need some kind of function. It's like, I was just born with bad looks. It's like, oh, you should see me as a baby, too. I had a giant, disproportionate head to my skinny little body. I looked like a fucking alien. It wasn't even right. Oh, <laughs> it's just man. like, I was not a good looking baby, and it just grew into a not good looking adult. What's, um, you know, kind of, you know, we always, as we go, you know, obviously we talk some two stories. Like, what's the worst injury you've had? I broke, I yeah. broke, I broke a wrist at my church once. <laughs> church. God, God hates me. <laughs> was that a fight though? Or did you fall? Oh, it wasn't a fight. Oh, oh, wasn't a fight. They, they had this like oh, game. Did you say like, worst fighting uh, injury or did you oh, just say oh, worst oh, injury? Oh, 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 I said worst fighting injury. He's like, wow, well, wait. He broke his wrist at a church. I don't know if I really. I mean, you said worst injury. I caught, I caught window. I don't know. The, now he's the, checking to see how much time we have in the segment to see if he can get into it. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Uh, it was, it's not that bad. I was like 11, 12 years old, and we had this little game of like a hexagon or whatnot with the tennis ball on it. Um, it was hex, it was like a hexagon, like a two by six. A bunch of people like hit it, and if the ball hits you like the knee or below, you're out and you jump around. And I don't know, it's like a, my arm got pinned against the wood, and somebody hit the tennis ball, and it like broke my wrist, fractured my wrist, and I had to wear a cast, and it broke it at church. <laughs> so, like, a tennis ball broke your wrist? <laughs> I guess so, yeah. And then you had a limp wrist? <laughs> I've, got, I've, I've, had, I've had no injury since then. No injury since then. I was like 11. I was Can we kid. get to the non-church yeah. um, related injuries? <laughs> so, What's your worst injury? I've been blessed and I haven't, I've never gotten into wrestling or fighting. I've never gotten seriously injured. I mean, the worst is probably I got a concussion once. Raymond gave me a concussion. Actually, he threw a knee at me and sparring. Dude, who throws? If you're out there training, like train smart. The point is, yes, you want to get better training, but you want to make well, it. Too much. I will tell you, it was it wasn't his fault because I was like down and he went to knee me in the body and I kind of like kept going down and he, it just it hit me on the chin. Dude, the other thing is, you spar like a madman. I used to. You you bite down and throw down with me, and I outweigh you two to one. No, but who wins those sparring matches? Weight doesn't matter, does it? He's yeah. never dropped me though. No, you know I you don't want to be dropped in. in I tell you, honest God, I go to some, when I go visit schools like drop off tickets or visit with these fighters. I've had to walk out of training sessions because I see these guys going at it. And I'm just like. Oh my God! They're gonna kill it. There goes yeah. my main event. Yeah, there goes this. Yeah. There goes two fights. Yeah. 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 Like, oh, are you sitting down to catch the ball to my car? We all train here. It's funny that when sparring happens like that, it's like. Everybody knows how to flow spar, but there's some guys in every gym that just don't know how well, to there's always But there's guys some guys gyms that the their purpose, like, no, I know no. you guys uh, over at Unico and Sidney Tong, I mean, don't you guys on Wednesday, like, this fresh guy, the Wednesday before you fight, don't you do some sort of training session where, like, it's a fresh guy every minute or something, and it's like, and if you quit doing that, they won't let you fight? Wasn't there no, something that I... that might have been, like, some old school shit, but we don't do that kind of shit. But no, back, we'll back when... Back I, in the day, maybe, but now, like... We only spar with big gloves on on Monday nights. We do technical shit on Wednesdays and, and then rolling rounds and then we do technical sparring on Saturdays with rounds after with rolling rounds. So there was a back maybe like maybe when you were still amateur though. Uh, I remember because it was like the techie fight. Uh, and every I think the Wednesday before your fight, basically in the dungeon at Sid Yatong, <laughs> it was five fives. You got a fresh guy every minute. If you were on the ground, if you were on the ground. The next guy would just come right in. You didn't get a chance to reset. And if you tried to quit out of doing all five fives, they'd pull you out of your fight. Two days and, before. And it was uh, it was the week and a half before the fight. Oh, the week and a half. And, oh. and basically, that was back in the day. And I remember being like, oh shit, we're going to get fighters pulled. Five fives. Uh, I, I've been pitted before. And yeah. I think everybody gets pitted like that eventually. Yeah, I mean, but that's not like. We don't have like that gauntlet to go through. Yeah, you know, like fight. Every, I maybe. fight every. I fight every ten weeks, dude. Yeah. <laughs> if I had to do that every ten weeks, I wouldn't be getting into the cage. That much. It's insanity. It's insanity. We've been trying. We've trained a lot smarter now. Yeah, I think I think that's the you're, point. You're just that, that. You're just that old school. We're gonna wrap up section one. 
get the other memory stick in. We only got a few seconds left, so we'll pick this conversation back up. I like how it's flowing though so far, so. We're back section two? Yeah.